Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to uh, the MMK Summit. Uh, we're on the third day now. Uh, the end of the summit is coming close, but it's been a really, really great experience for everybody. Uh, I'm very privileged to be here. Uh, my name is Frank Honan. <coughs> I'm part of IBCS Anchored, working in cooperation with MMK uh, to promote the ISO standards for bareboat charter operators. And <coughs> I was here last year, uh, a very different scenario, presenting in front of a room of 50 people. Now I'm here in a room with just a cameraman and a sound guy and someone offering me some uh, chat options if I get any feedback. So a very different scenario. <coughs> I was very pr uh, surprised today when I arrived in my hotel. So we're, we're here at the Hilton Hotel and I arrived yesterday and I found this sticker on my door, which was very surprising, which basically tells me that my room has been cleaned and sanitized to a standard provided by the Hilton Hotel and the Hilton Hotel Group. So this is obviously the new standard provided by COVID or as a result of the COVID pandemic. So we see this everywhere now. So this was, this was on my room, plus a little bit of information about the areas within my room that were sanitized and cleaned for my comfort. And this gives me the reassurance that the Hilton Hotel offers a safe environment for me to visit, for me to live in, and to be, for me to be here. So it's, it's very informative. It talks about the high-touch areas, uh, the areas that have been sanitized and cleaned especially. So this is now the new standard for hotels or the new standard for the world that we're living in. I'll come back to a little bit more about this later. But what I would like to do is speak to you today about the uh, ISO 20410 standards, the International Bareboat Charter Standards, how you can meet them and what they mean for the future. So this session will take about 45, 40, 45 minutes. And during this session, I will explain what the ISO standards are, how to implement them into your company, what a SOP, Standard Operating Procedure, is, what a QMS is, Quality Management System is, and how to achieve continual improvement culture into your business. So what is ISO? ISO is a standard, uh, standard body based in Switzerland that standards offers standards for all industries worldwide. Some standards are mandatory, whether you're running a hotel or a power station or a commercial factory, you'll have an ISO standard somewhere. Some standards are not mandatory and they are, can be adopted for industries who choose to run with those standards. So at the moment, we have a bare boat charter standard from ISO. And this is what we're going to go through today. So ISO, is, again, it's, it was, uh, it's been around for a very long time. 1947 it was developed. Um, and it was to offer industrial standards so that globally we can start to work together. A very simple example of a, an ISO standard would be a USB port or a USB uh, cable. This is an international standard. This has been agreed. Every USB stick, every USB is the same, as opposed to an electrical socket, which is electrical socket can be very different whether you go to the America, whether you go to Europe, China, or England, where I'm from. Three pin sockets there work with nowhere else in the world. These are unregulated and unstandardized. So, this is what the ISO is working to do is to try to standardize. Uh, the, an industry to make sure that everything is going in the correct way, all focused on the consumer and what the consumers experience to improve their experience and make it safer for them. So the most common ISO standard that you'll come across is the ISO uh, 901, 
uh, published in 2015, or the last edition published in 2015. This is the most common standard for international companies. So international companies can communicate between each other, and they know uh, how to work and what the level of quality they should be providing on information, data transfer, and any other communication they have. And this is basically just a quality management system in place. So <clears throat> this is not a mandatory uh, uh, standard, but it is a, uh, a voluntary standard. And it's a standard that companies will in include via um, their training programs, through um, their information they provide to their partner companies and to their employees. But it'll be a standard that they work to. So this is what we want to discuss today, is how does the ISO system affect the bareboat charter industry? So the bareboat quality standards provided by ISO was uh, promoted, published in uh, 2017, December 2017. And it was put together by a group of uh, charter companies, uh, agencies, uh, the RWA, Royal Yachting Association, um, and a number of bodies to protect customers and to give customers confidence and protection uh, to book a yacht charter because the quality and the services were varied around the world. And there were some horror stories of what had happened to clients who had booked charter with a charter company that wasn't registered, that didn't have the correct equipment on board, safety was an issue. So they said, this is necessary. We need to have this bareboat charter standard for all international companies. But it's not mandatory. So what is a bareboat charter? And what, which company does it apply to? So the actual definition is a bareboat, a boat with living accommodation rented out with a, without a skipper or crew provided by a charter operator. That's the actual definition that is written into the ISO standards. So if you want to have a look at what these standards are and what they actually say, you'll find uh, you can buy online through the ISO a 15-page document. It's called the International Standards ISO 20410, first edition 2017-10. It's tourism and related services, bareboat charter, maximum, sorry, minimum service and equipment requirements. So this is a, a very simple document, only 15 pages long, but it does list what the minimum service level should be. Uh, it comes in English and it comes in French language. Uh, if you want to order this, you can. What IBCS Anchor doing, what we do, is we want to give you this information in a much more user-friendly format. And it's in a way that allows you to implement it into your business in a form of standard operating procedures and quality management systems. So how does it work? What is the whole point of having an ISO system or a standard operating procedure within your company? So a simple plan of how to do your business must be in place. Every business needs to know where their customer is coming from. The customer has his requirements, his or her requirements. In our case, they want to book a charter boat. They search online. They must be given correct information. They must take, book the boat, visit the charter base, take the boat, return safely, leave the charter base a happy client. This is what we are all seeking to do. And this is what's within the ISO standards. Now, you need to have a plan, a quality management system in place between the client booking and the client leaving the base. And that plan is your quality management system. It doesn't have to be complicated. This is a very simple QMS process plan. You need to have a plan of what you're doing, advertising, marketing, information sent out, how to check a client in on reception, how to process the boats, how to prepare boats, how to receive a client back, how to deal with any incidences during the charter, and how to uh, make sure the client arrives back safely, 
and everything is okay. So that's the plan. Then you need to have a do. You need to actually do the business, take the bookings, receive the client, process the plan, making sure that everything is going accordingly. And that's doing the do part of this process. Then you need to have a checks. You need to have somebody who was, who's going to check this process. So this is normally a base manager, company director, uh, booking office manager. They will check that this process is, is working correctly. The clients are receiving the correct information. They are paying on time. They receive the second payment. They make a check-in with all the correct documentation. These are all checks and balances that must be done throughout this plan. Then you need to act. The act is if something goes wrong. What if a client doesn't pay on time? What if a client cancels a booking? What if a client arrives late? What if the boat's not available? Then you have to act and revisit this plan and, where, and put something into place to put it right. So this is the process that we need to have in place. And this is what's called plan, do, check and act or PDCA. This is not only a, an action plan that you need to have in place within your business, but it's a way of thinking. It's a way of thinking that the uh, employees within the company and the managers and the owners of the company need to think about keeping this improvement and keeping this wheel of continual uh, improvement and quality and standards, uh, standard operating procedures always moving the whole time. Now, everybody will have some kind of plan in place. There should be a daily plan, standard operating procedure for the base managers, for the marketing team. There should be a monthly plan, an annual one for winter servicing, or a, a weekly plan for daily charters. You'll have this in place, whether it's written down or not, but there is a plan in place. So what is a SOP, a standard operating procedure? What does it mean? So, keeping it simple, to the absolute simplest level, which is the best way, never to get it complicated, it doesn't have to be a very thick document, um, it's basically an operating procedure. The first part of your operating procedure as a bare boat charter operator should be the ISO standards, because this is the minimum level you must have. You must conform to all the details in the, standard operating in the ISO standards as part of your standard operating procedure. Um, maybe you have personnel handbooks explaining to your personnel how they should do their jobs, what they should do. Maybe you have a set of checklists um, for your reception, for your marketing people. Uh, maybe you have training programs each year to make sure that everybody goes through the same training program and everybody's on the same page and you understand any changes within the business. So this is a very simple standard operating procedure. Um, to start with, and most business will have this, but how it's presented and how it's put together is always a little bit questionable. So, each business should have a quality management system. A quality management system is a measure of are you doing your business correctly? And if something goes wrong, how do you measure that? And what do you do to make sure that it comes right again. How do you know you're providing the quality of service to the clients that you're offering and you're selling? And this is a simple quality management system. Part of your quality management system, for example, will be a review. Every customer should have the opportunity to review their service that you have provided and to give you feedback as to whether that service met their expectations, <coughs> provided the quality that they, they paid for and that they wanted to have. But it also includes the check-in process and the, uh, check, the check-in process in reception and the check-in process on your boat. And this is your quality management system that should be in place. <coughs> but again, we keep this very, very simple. It doesn't have to be complicated. It's just a series of checklists. Uh, you have a checklist for your reception. You know what documents to check when the clients arrive. You have a technical approval list that the clients must check and must sign before the boat leaves the marina. This is part of your quality management system. 
you must have managers and supervisors checking that the boats and the service that you're offering are to the standard that you have sold to the client. One experience, from my experience as a, a charter operator, um, is the diver. Is always having a diver on, uh, on site and having a diver's report. So every boat that returns from charter must, have a, must be dived and it must be inspected. And the diver must make a report to say that this boat has been fully inspected and it has damage or it has no damage. And this report is kept. So the next client for the next year, if for the next week, if this client returns and there is damage on the boat, then you could quite easily say, this boat was inspected last week and it had no damage. This is our independent diver's report. It has the images, it has his statement. We are sure that this boat had no damages. So this damage must be yours and this must be paid for by you. So this is a very simple, this is part of your standard operating procedure and this is part of your quality management system. And we all do this all the time. Every charter operator does this. But to put it all together, you need all of this information to be put together to conform to the standard, the ISO systems and your, your standard operating procedures uh, plan. So, <clears throat> so how many ch bareboat charter operators know about the ISO standards? Well, quite a few at the moment. Uh, since last year, since my, uh, we launched this, um, uh, this system with MMK, uh, quite a few companies have signed up, have verified that they are working with the ISO 20410 system <coughs> within their company. They have a best practice business plan in place. They have a standard operating procedure. They have a quality management system in place. So how many charter companies say they are meeting the ISO standards? But at the moment, these standards are not mandatory. So it's not compulsory for any charter company to, to have these uh, standards in place. But what we, would, what we do with our partners is we offer a certification, a simple certificate to say that this charter operator has completed an online survey and knows what the ISO standards are and are working towards them. So this is very simple, and this certificate is presented in their reception for clients to see. It is also the logo, um, verified standards logo is on their website, and it is also on the MMK booking manager system underneath their boats. So this confirms the charter companies that know what this, the ISO standards are and are working towards them. So this is a very, very simple way of working. So here at MMK, it's all about to the next level. Bring it to the next level. So this is actually the ISO standards are the minimum standard, the minimum level that we're looking for charter operators to conform to. And we want charter operators to obviously to rise above this and to beat this level of standards. So that's why we're working together to make sure that all charter operators know this and verify that they are working with these standards. So our three, three ser services that we're offering to bareboat charter operators from Anchored are, first of all, we verify that you know what the standards are. You have got a copy of the ISO standards. You understand what they are saying. You, can, you implement them into your business, and we give you the certificate that says we verify that you know that through our online survey. Then we have a best practice system which is a very simple uh, manager's procedural handbook that we send to charter operators. And this manager's handbook becomes part of your standard operating procedure and your quality management system. So the handbook is here. This is an example of the manager's procedural handbook that we send out to charter operators. And this has everything from the check-in check -in process for clients, to how to clean the boat, to how to prepare the boat for the charters, how to prepare it for winter service, and it has personnel issues, and it has training plan in here. It's very comprehensive. We'll come back to that in a little bit. 
So we also offer an investor, a business investor certificate. And this is where chartered companies really uh, are looking to come to another level, rise above the minimum standards, the basic standards, and say, we actually want to do better than this. We can do better than this. And this is where we, we come in and we help the charter operator meet the standards and rise above them. <coughs> so with our first level, the verified standards, which is an online survey of 30 questions we ask charter operators to, uh, to, to complete, it's quite simple. You complete the survey, 30 questions, we give you your feedback. If there's any questions that are not positive, uh, you need a little bit of help with, we give you some feedback, and that's it. We will send you a copy of the uh, ISO standards and say you know what the standards are. But let's just go into a little bit more detail. So our questionnaire, because a lot of people get a little bit of frightened that they're going to, it's like having an exam, and it's really, it's not. It's a very, very simple situation. 80% of chartered companies that we deal with meet these standards very easily. But until they know what the standards are and what the ISO standards are, they don't know that they meet them. And this is the big challenge that we have. Do charter operators know that they meet the standards? So the questions that we will ask are very simple. So here's an example. Our IBCS uh, question 11 comes from the ISO standard 20410, article 5.1.2 about the bare boat charter details. And we ask charter operators in question 11, does the charter contract contain detailed information about the client skipper on the boat's equipment, layout, number of toilets and cabins? Well, of course. This is obvious. If you're working with MMK or another booking system, but with MMK, you're guaranteed this information is sent to every client. So this question is answered yes, and it meets the ISO standards. But the ISO standards, their questions are slightly different. So we've, how we've changed it is what the ISO standards is asking are, the maximum number of persons permitted on board, the year of construction, the age of the craft, the man manufacture and model and layout, the number of cabins, heads, berths and inventory of equipment supplied and optional extras for, and the charter costs. So that's all what comes into the ISO standards. So it's very, very simple. And of course, again, this is all within your booking system. When you send an offer to a client, all of this information is in there. So it's very, very simple for charter companies to actually meet these standards. <coughs> Another example of the questions that we're asking, so question 12, uh, which is about the, the dates of charter and the duration and the location, which has to be very specific. Not all boats in the world are kept in marinas. They're sometimes kept in different locations and they're not so easy for clients to find. So they try to make this clear. We are asking clients, we ask our charter operators in question 12, does the charter boat contract contain information on dates and times of handover and the return location, transport and parking uh, options in the base? So again, all of this will come to the clients when they make an offer. When we, an offer's been sent to them, all of this information is within the offer. And what the ISO standards are asking, are, it's very slightly different. The exact dates and times of handover and the return and handback. Or the charter, the charter provider shall give the charter up-to-date information about the handover and handback. So again, what we've done is condensed two questions into one and basically said, do you do this? Because we know that if all charter companies that are using a booking system the information that's sent out to a client about that charter boat conforms to the ISO standards. So it's very, very simple. So that's our verified standards. If you want to verify your standards for your charter company, we need you to log in, do the survey, and we will give you the feedback, and then we will give you a certificate that says you have verified that you understand the standards and you're working towards them. This is the minimum level, the absolute minimum level. For this, you get the certificate. You also get your uh, anchor, anchor Mark logo on your website, and you get it on MMK. And this shows that you've conformed to the minimum standards. 
So the next level that we're offering to charter operators, okay, here's an example of uh, all of us yachting uh, that we worked with uh, last year, they had an issue, personal issue, and they wanted to train their managers up to a little bit of a uh, higher level. So we asked them to conform and comply the, um, made the self-assessment survey online. We gave them the certificate, the yellow certificate, to say that they understand what the ISO standards are, and they're working towards them. And they ordered the best practice manager's procedural handbook, and they implemented this into their, into their business, their man base managers use this as the basic of their standard operating procedure and their quality management system, which form part of the requirements for the ISO standards. So the next level, the best practice, again, this is the handbook that we're offering. And we're asking companies if they need some help to implement the ISO standards into their business, to order the handbook, use the handbook. If you order the handbook, then we will give you the certificate. And these certificates are very important for clients to see because they give you authority. They give you authority about your business and about how you're doing your business. And to have these certificates on your wall in your reception give confidence to the client that you understand what the international standards are. To have the anchor mark present on your website or present on your emails or your marketing material will give confidence to your clients that you understand what the international ISO standards are and you're working towards them. They will understand that you have a, a, a standard operating procedure and a quality management system in place through the handbook. And the next level that we're offering to charter operators who want to customize their, um, the manager's handbook we can make the we can customize the manager's handbook particularly for your business. So if you have some standards or unique selling points that become higher than the mini minimum standards, we will put this into the book for you and we will make sure that it is written in stone in your management procedure handbook. And you'll have that for your company. Most managers, from my experience, always want to have these standards written so that they can refer to them for employees, for their training purposes, or for just working generally. And particularly now with the changeover of personnel, with new personnel coming into the companies, you need to have standards written down and examples of how you can show them to work. And this is what the handbook does. It has very simple examples, minimum standard examples of how you do a check-in with the clients at reception, how a boat should be prepared, how it should be cleaned. Again, now coming back to uh, our COVID crisis at, that we have at the moment. Now, here in the, the hotel, they have a standard service. They put a sticker on the door that I showed you, and they have, a, they have an explanation inside each room. So how many charter operators currently are operating with a similar system? Can you prove to your clients that you have a... COVID safe concept within your company because this is what's going to be asked and particularly in 2021 next year charter operators uh, are going to be under are going to be asked for these standards more and more Char uh, booking a charter boat and having a holiday in a remote location in an isolated boat is going to be a very very popular choice but of course, you still have to give your clients the comfort and the confidence that you know what you're doing. So, do you have a COVID safe concept within your business? Can you send information to the client? Well, we do that for you. As part of having the manager's procedural handbook, we have a COVID safe plan uh, that has been written for charter operators. <coughs> um, it's very detailed and it covers everything that the charter operator should do to keep his business running, keep the customers happy, um, and the information that the clients and the customers need before they arrive so that they know what to do. This is installing confidence, and this is part of the manager's procedural handbook. And this is an insert 
that become, will be coming into the manager's procedural handbook and it comes, becomes part of the boat cleaning program, the training program, it'll become part of the manager's uh, daily checklist and the contingency plan. So this is an addition and this is a very, very important document that charter companies should have. <coughs> So we've had, um, we had a lot of success uh, in the past year with uh, charter operators. Um, we have an example uh, here that uh, a, a charter operator in Greece, uh, a, a single uh, one boat operator, wanted to grow his fleet, wasn't experienced with charter operation. So we said, okay, we can help you promote your business, develop your business and grow in the right way. We put him, him and his team through the uh, verified standard survey online so they knew what the ISO standards were. We gave them the manager's procedural handbook so they knew what they had to do to have a standard operating procedure and a quality management system in place. And we went there and we discussed it with them and they, went, and they were very, very happy. It took a lot of weight off their shoulders and they knew and they had the confidence that they were meeting the minimum standards and they promoted the certificates in their office, they promoted the um, the certificates online, the anchor mark was on their website and the anchor mark is, is being shown underneath their fleet on MMK. So they had total confidence that they were working in the right way. So this is a, a, a big, a big uh, promotion for them. So the next level, the third level of standards that we're offering to charter operators is to audit what they're doing and to come to the base and work with the base managers and personnel to help them so that the ISO standards and the standard operating procedures and the quality management system is in place and make a report of how the business is working and how the business is running so that they get an independent view looking down on their business to see how this is actually working and to work with them to show them how they have, may have different ideas and to change things within the business to work forward. And this is what's called a, a continual improvement attitude. So the companies that choose to take this, um, we work very closely with to train their, pe their people. And this is a great motivational tool for the personnel in the base. And it's a great confident boost that they have the authority with the three anchor marks which is the verified standards that they've done, the verified standards survey online. They've got that certificate in their base. They have the best practice certificate in their base that shows that they have a standard operating procedure and quality management system in place through the manager's procedural handbook. And we have audited it and we have worked with them to get to that standard. And if they have any issues with the standard, the quality of work, they can come to us and they can ask us. And of course, they immediately get the upgrades for the book, which is the COVID uh, safety concept plan. We will send this to them to say, you also need to have this. This is very, very important. <clears throat> so a good, a good story, a good example of a company that we worked with this year, um, Aquaturia Yachting in Croatia. Uh, we had a, a young base manager joined the company in March. Uh, he was a little bit nervous about running the business, but the owner wanted him there. He was a very dynamic personality, a very energetic guy. Um, so we put him through a training program. We showed him how to complete the uh, verified standard survey, online survey, so he understood the basic standards of the company. He came from outside of the industry. He understood what the ISO standards were. For him, this was absolutely obvious. He had to know this minimum standard. We gave him a manager's procedural handbook and said, this is what you need to run your business. From the very first check-in for the clients to the clients leaving. How to manage your personnel, what the standards your personnel are, and how your back, back of house should look, how your workshop should look, and how your boats should look, and what kind of condition they should be prepared to. We visited him in, uh, in April. We did a full inspection, full audit of the, the reception, uh, his work, workshops, his boats, and it was uh, a great experience. They had um, a, a real motivation within the team that they were working towards something, and they were working towards something that was benefiting their business. So they now have the three anchor marks on their website. 
they have the three anchor marks under their fleet on booking manager and they have three certificates in their reception proving that they meet the ISO standards, they're working towards them, they have a system in place to look after their clients and look after their personnel and they've had an independent audit to check that these are in place. So this is a real success story for us, we're very happy for them. There are another, uh, a number of charter operators uh, who we've worked with in the past year. Unfortunately this year has been very difficult for us, very challenging because of the travel restrictions. We have a number of charter operators in Greece that we, we plan to work with next year and in Turkey that we plan to work with and we obviously need um, more charter operators to sign up and verify they know what the standards are so they can get these standards in place. So, so far it's been a very success story, we're very happy with it, we're very happy with our relationship with MMK um, and we want to, to roll this out to as many charter operators as we possibly can. So please visit our website, it's ibcs-anchor.org or you can contact me, Frank, Frank Honan on the email which is ibcsanchored at gmail.com, ibcsanchored one word at gmail.com or you can contact us through MMK and uh, they'll, put, they'll put you directly in contact with me. So there's a lot to do this year. Standards are an issue that everybody's talking about. Um, do we have any questions at the moment? So we have a question here from Ageliki from Wind Ventures. And the question is, what is the best way to streamline the check-in, check-out processes on daily bareboat charters where time limits are very narrow? Yeah, it's a, it's a very good question. Um, well, at the moment, the, uh, the check-in process, I think, uh, has changed. Um, I, would, I would normally suggest that uh, you offer as much personnel service as you possibly can. The direct contact with the client is always the best way because your personnel making the check-in in reception and making a check-in on the boat, the technical check-in on the boat, they can answer questions much quicker and much faster than anybody else. But unfortunately now, this is, has, is having to change because of the COVID regulations. So um, the fastest and simplest way is always person-to-person -person contact. Have that contact with the person. But how you manage this within your business and with the personnel you have, is it up to you? How big is your fleet? How many boats do you have? How many personnel do you have? My experience is always have good, highly trained personnel that know the answers to the questions that the clients are going to ask. Be prepared as much as you possibly can, but also get to know your client, get to know your customer. How much information do they need to know about each boat they're taking over? Are they fully experienced sailors or are they only sailing once a year? And this is the, this is the, this is the level of training that your personnel should have. And these are the questions that you should be asking on reception and getting feedback for them. I don't think it's possible to automate the service completely. There are various apps that can do this, but I don't think they're going to offer a perfect solution. My advice is always person-to-person -person contact and deal with people as they are people because you, this is the fastest way to resolve a problem. Does that answer the question? Thank you, Frank. I hope uh, so, Geliki, if you have any uh, other questions, feel free to send it. Thank you. So if you have any other questions, I'm here. Um, I'm here for another uh, 10 minutes. Um, what I would like to just to confirm, what we've discussed today, what I've explained today is what the ISO standards are. For bareboat charter operators, there is a standard, a minimum standard that you are expected to provide and demonstrate you are meeting this minimum standard. This is the ISO 20410, published in 2017. If you want a copy of these standards, contact us, we'll send you a copy. The best way to get to know whether your company is meeting these standards is to do the self-assessment online survey through our website. Very, very simple. takes about 20 minutes, 40 minutes. We would always recommend the manager and one or two of the key personnel does this survey together so you get the benefit from it. We review the results of the survey. We give you your feedback and then we send you a certificate to say you know what these standards are and you get a copy of each question and what the answer was, and you also get a copy of the ISO standards. It's 
cheaper to do through us. We have a very economical solution um, for providing this to charter operators. Uh, so this is the best way to get it. You can order the document from the ISO directly, but if you do it our way, it's a little bit more interactive, it's a little bit more team building, and you get a direct feedback from us. And you get the certificate from us to say you verified that you know what the standards are, you get the anchor mark that goes onto your website to promote that you know what the ISO standards are, and you also get your, the, the anchor mark under your fleet on MMK. Uh, it's still surprising how many charter operators present their fleets through MMK and they have very little verification of the quality of the standards or the service that they're providing and no authority. So normally we see on MMK there is ICE insurance, they have an ICE insurance uh, concept plan or they have Yacht Check as a review, Eumenia uh, as another review option which shows how uh, clients feedback or you're a member of the a golden partner with MMK, and you have their insurance provide, provided uh, for their booking system, or you're a silver partner. Well, when you look along that line, when clients and booking agents are looking along that line, they want to see how interested are you in your business and how much are you investing in your business. So if you are a golden partner, you're obviously working very well with MMK. If you have an ICE certificate as of insurance, for your clients, this is perfect. If you have a review system through Yacht Checker or through Eumenia, this again is perfect. And if you also have an anchor mark to say you understand what the ISO standards are and you're working towards them, you have a standard operating procedure in place to manage your personnel and to manage your clients, and the quality management system, that's perfect. Do you have any, any other questions? Yes, we have uh, another question from Ageliki, and the question is, training service is included with the certification? I have not understood how the process goes exactly. Okay, <clears throat> let me review it. Thank you very much for the question. It's, um, let me review it uh, again. Uh, I'm a little bit limited with time here, and it is a little bit of a complicated, uh, complicated topic to cover. So, first of all, so this is at the back of the manager's procedural handbook. So we offer the first level of certificate. This is the verified standards. Verified standards. This is where you register, a charter operator registers with IBCS Anchored on our website, and we send you an offer and a link to complete the verified survey. This survey, online survey, has 30 questions that are all connected to the ISO standards. By completing this survey, you will learn the ISO standards, and we will also give you feedback on any negative questions you have that you haven't been answered positively, or any questions you may have. Once you have completed this, you have verified that you understand and you're working with the ISO standards, and we will give you this certificate, and we will give you this anchor mark to go onto your website, onto your marketing material, and this is what goes onto MMK underneath your fleet. The second level, that we're offering is the best practice. And this is where you want, you're interested in promoting your base manager, and this is where we offer the base manager's procedural handbook, and this is the handbook. If you order this through us, at the same time as you do the uh, verified standards we send you, this, we will send you the second certificate. And this is basically confirming that you have a standard operating procedure because this is the standard operating procedure that you'll be working towards, you're working with. It explains everything you need to know and you need to have in your base as a manager to operate this business. So when you order this, you will get the certificate, best practice certificate. You will also get the second best practice anchor mark. This goes on your website. And this goes on to MMK. So you'll have two anchor marks as two levels of standards that you have set for your company. The third level that we're offering is the audit. And this is where we would like to visit you. And we would want to be sure that you understand how the ISO standards are working. And you'll have them implemented into your business. We check all the documentation of your business. We check your website. We check your offer. Um, we visit your boats and your base, and we visit your reception, and we do a very, very simple audit of how your business is working compared to the ISO standards. 
Once we have completed this, we give you the report, which is, in our experience, the report basically will tell you what you're doing very well, but also what you need to improve to meet the standards, ISO standards, and to improve your business. And that can be anything from you know, changing something on the boats, maybe reviewing how your office or your reception is operating, maybe some personnel training. Once we give you this independent report from us, from our audit, we will give you this business investor certificate because you have invested in all the three levels. You know what the ISO standards are, you know what you have a um, manager's procedural handbook in place as best practice and you have got this verified and you're working with us to improve your business and this is a big investment for companies. So the cost of all of this put together is not so expensive. Believe me, the, this is a very, very economical system. It's more interesting for us, an MMK, to get companies to sign up to this system to get them to the basic level, the minimum standards and this is what's called harmonizing of the industry, so that charter uh, operators and charter companies all know what the standards they're working towards. So I hope that answers your question about how the levels are working and the standards are working. Do you have any other questions? Uh, yes, thank you very much, Frank. But uh, we have another one. Uh, who ensures that the company actually follows these procedures beyond having them just in place? <clears throat> okay, good question, fantastic. So first of all, the ISO standards are the ISO 2410 standards are not mandatory. They are not a compulsory set of standards that you need to work to. It's not like running a company where you have or a nuclear power station or uh, a, a big factory where you have to have these standards in place to protect the employees or to protect uh, the personnel or to protect the customers. And your product has to be to a standard. So this is all voluntary. And what we've tried to do here is to condense this into a training package for your personnel. It's the self-assessment survey that we are offering for the verified standards. This is a self-assessment. You assess your own business. Are you meeting the standards? Are you putting the standards in place? If you're, if you, some of the standards you don't have. And there are some standards within the ISO system that you cannot comply to. There are some very small little details about heating systems and about gas regulation that is mostly focused on the northern hemisphere and colder countries that you can't conform to or you won't conform to because most of the, the charter boats are in Croatia or in Greece. So it's not a mandatory system. It's a voluntary system that you want to sign up to to say we have an understanding of what the international standards are. We can only check and we can only help you work towards these standards. And with us and the, the three levels that we're offering, the manager's procedural handbook, the certificates, the ISO standards, and our input and our report, independent report, this is a big boost and this will get you to another level. And this is really where we are and why we're working with MMK because it's about getting charter operators to the next level. I hope that answers your question. The, qu the answer to the question is it's not a mandatory system. You don't have to conform to all of the, um, the regulations in the ISO standards because some of them will be impossible to meet. But 95% of them all make sense. It's all about offering customer care and uh, a customer service. And it's to protect the clients and it's to protect the personnel that are working within the charter operators. Do you have any other questions? Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Frank. Uh, and thank you, Angeliki, for your questions. <coughs> that would be it then for, from question part. OK. Thank you very much. So again, just to, just to recap, what we've what covered today what I've covered today is what the ISO standards are. It's a very, very useful set of standards set for the charter industry, the bare boat charter industry, that all charter companies should know, should work to, and should promote that they have this. It gives some authority to the charter industry that they are working from one level. And again, this is what we call harmonizing the ind industry. To have a continual improvement concept within your company so that you have a training program, you have a system in place of reviewing the quality 
and managing the quality of your business is very, very important. And to have a standard operating procedure. So if things go wrong, something happens, what do you do? You have something to refer to. And this is where the book becomes very, very important, that you have a minimum document. And this is shared as a culture throughout your business. And this is very important. The first, uh, this, th this book was originally, uh, I worked as a consultant for a charter operator, a very, very international, well, one of the biggest uh, charter operators, uh, charter companies um, uh, that have bases globally because they had nothing, really nothing in place. And I wrote this for them, together with them. So you're getting the benefit from this document, you're getting the benefit of having an international charter operator having to put something in place for all of their bases worldwide. So it's a real, truly international document. And it doesn't just focus on um, Croatia, Greece, or um, you know, small local uh, charter operators. It's what is based on the ISO standards. So I hope that, uh, hope that answers your question. Um, I think that's, that's all we have time for today. Um, if you'd like to contact me, the website is www.ibcs-anchored.org. Uh, the email address is ibcsanchored at gmail.com, or you can always contact us through MMK, and you can, if you want to discuss how this system works and look at the companies that are following this system, click through to the MMK system, Look, look at the booking manager system, click through on one of the anchor marks under a fleet and you will see, you will come to our website and you'll see the standards and which are the companies that have signed up for these standards. It's a very, very economical way of meeting the standards and showing your customers that you're serious about your business and you understand and you have the authority uh, to run your business in a proper way. So. I wish you all the best of luck. It's been great to be here. I hope there are no more, any more questions. Um, it's great to be in Zagreb with MMK. This summit is fantastic. Uh, the information that has been provided by the speakers is, you can't put a price on it. It's really, really worthwhile. When I used to be a charter operator and an operations manager, if I had access to this, my life would have been much simpler. So I wish you all the best of luck for the future, and I hope to come and see you all in the, in the coming year, 2021, when everything will be much better. Thank you very much. Goodbye.